Welcome guys. Today we'll be doing a January 2020 question. It's coming from a CSEC past paper question. Question number one. Let's get started. Requiring us to use in a calculator or otherwise calculate the exact value of the following. So we have four and one over five multiply by one over three minus one over one and one and a quarter. Now first, I'll be looking at multiplying this first. So we're gonna have four and one over five times one over three. Now, how did I know I need to multiply first? Because some persons know it as bad mass. Others know it as bomb das. But they are the same concept. So B is for bracket. O is for the order. D is for division, M is for multiplication, A is for addition, and S is for subtraction. Students usually confuse this, saying it's divide and multiply, or multiply and divide. But this is saying that you multiply or divide first before you add or, or subtract. Now, if we had division and multiplication in one line, we move from left to right. That's how we apply this rule. So this is not saying divide first and multiply. We're just saying we divide or multiply first before we do the operation that asks us to add or subtract. If we have a division and multiplication in one line, then it means we're gonna do the operation that we see first. So if it is division first, we do that first. If it's multiplication first, then we do multiplication first. So if we had a division sign here, we would multiply, then divide. We move from left to right. So with that being explained, I'm going to go ahead and do the multiplication first because multiplication is done first before we go and do the subtraction. First, let me go ahead and change this into an improper fraction because this is in a mixed fraction. So I multiply four times five, four fives, 20. But then you add the one. So in other words, I'll have this as 21 over five multiplied by one over three. Now I can go ahead and simplify this because three into 21 goes seven times. So seven times one, that's seven. And then, you know, this would have been a one. So five times one would give me five. So once again, all I did was just change this so it becomes basically an uh, improper fraction, five, four is 20 plus one, that's 21 over five, multiplied by one third, and then three into 21 goes seven times. So seven times one, that's seven, and five times one, that's five. Now, this seven over five, I'm gonna have it replacing the bracket that I have here. So all of this will be replaced with seven over five. So what is it that I have now? I have seven over five minus one and a quarter. Now I am going to change one and a quarter to an improper fraction. So I have seven over five minus Changing it, I multiply one times four, that's four. And uh, four plus one, that's five. So that's five of all, four. Now the LCM, the LCM for five and four, that's 20, the lowest common multiple. And then we go ahead and divide. So we say five 
into 20 goes four times, then four sevens, 28, minus four into 20 goes five times. So five times five, that's 25. So subtracting, we have 28 minus 25, that gives us three over 20. And that's it. We also have to find the exact value of this, 4.1 minus 1.25 square all over 0 0.005. So 4.1, we're gonna have 4.1 minus 1.25 square. Now remember, square means you're multiplying it two times. So it means 1.25 times 1.25. All over, we have the 0 0.005. So we have 4.1 minus, so we have 1.25 multiplied by 1.25. When we use our calculator to multiply this, we will get 1.5625 all over 0 0.005. Now the next part, we're going to calculate the numerator. So using a calculator, you'd end up 4.1 minus 1.5625. That will give us 2.5375. If you realize, I'm not rounding it up because the question states, above states it wants the exact value. So we can't round off. So the denominator has 0 0.05. Now dividing this, the exact value is 507.5. And that's it.